Thank you very much, Ian Wright. People deluded, I'm back again. Thank you very much for tuning back in. As you know, you know, the Premier League has been put to a standstill and we're just dealing with the World Cup and doing World Cup watch-alongs. On that note, make sure you're checking it out. But as we approach January, you know, we got to go through December first. Arsenal are being linked with players. I'm sure a lot of Arsenal fans, including myself, centre mid winger priorities, you know, and there's probably a bunch of other reasons. So without wasting any more time, let's just get straight into it and see what the paper talks are dealing with you know there's been Sane, Danilo etc starting with Leroy Sane folks obviously I don't buy the rumours but nonetheless Arsenal are among a cluster of clubs to inquire about Bayern Munich winger Leroy Sane and a report has revealed both his and the club's feelings on a surprise exit allegedly obviously he finds himself as a bit of a squad player there's massive competition at Bayern Munich and he finds himself kind of behind the Kingsley Coleman's the Thomas Muller's the Serge Gnabry and currently injured and missing out on the World Cup, but Sadio Mane. Um, apparently, Sane is considering all his options, people, with his game time not currently as assured as he might have expected. Arsenal are among a series of clubs to make an inquiry. I mean, you know, I would take Sane if he could get over his injury problems and we could get that consistency at greater levels. You know, who wouldn't want Leroy Sane? Apparently, the deal could be around 60 million euros plus any pending activations or future add-ons. You'd imagine Manchester City or drew due some sort of sell on fee if and when Bayern Munich decide to sell the German international people. It all depends where you read because apparently Bayern Munich have shunned inquiries for Leroy Sane and insist they are not looking to sell the German winger, the 26-year-old people. He's been linked with a bunch of clubs, again, primarily Arsenal, and he finds himself behind a lot of players. You could find you could probably add Julian Nagelsmann. Um Julian Nagelsmann's protege and Jamal Musiala into that as well. But I mean, a team like Bayern Munich, there's always going to be competition for places. And if you play well, you'll play games. Sources have confirmed to 90 Minute that a number of clubs, including Arsenal, have asked about Sane's situation. But Bayern have made it clear they have no intention of letting it go. Sane himself is believed to be considering his options, but has confidence that Julian Nagelsmann trusts him and at this stage is unlikely to push for a move. Anything can happen, but if Arsenal or anyone was to sign him, you'd probably probably expect that to happen in the summer and again probably it's easy to link Arsenal with him we bought a bunch of you know We've been linked better yet with a bunch of wingers. He's a former Man City player. We got two through the door in the summer. It'd be lit left wing, right wing. We always hear in terms of Mikel Arteta improving players, Raheem Sterling and also Leroy Sane. So it all depends where you read. Again, the dream is free. The hustle is sold separately. Allegedly as well, people, Saliba is attracting interest from Paris Saint-Germain. Obviously, he is French. He is in the World Cup squad. You know, their campaign at the time of doing this vid starts later today. I'll be doing that again make sure you're doing a what you're you're in my watch along for Australia against France people. It would make sense. You know, he's good friends with Kylian Mbappe, who seems to be the sporting director. He's a 21-year-old who's doing quite well, being called up to the French squad. And there's many bumps and bruises, twists and turns as a professional footballer, but his best days are in front of him. Obviously, Arsenal are in contract talks potentially with him as well. PSG keep getting linked with our players because, you know, as we know, Saliba, Martinelli and Bakayo Saka were trying to get them to sign new deals. PSG are to launch a damaging um, Arsenal transfer mission for explosive star and irresistible offer can dislodge. PSG will be keeping tabs on Martinelli at the World Cup and have even sent scouts to monitor him throughout the tournament, people. Uh, you know, anything can happen. Everybody's got a price, but allegedly a Spanish, the Spanish media, according to the Spanish media, speaking on a young Brazilian, you know, that could potentially, for this, move to a French club and he's based in England. You always got to look at where the primary source came from, but you know, he'll probably be a bit part player, sadly, at the World Cup. There's a lot of competition in front of him, so I don't know if they'll get too many minutes. But the report claims PSG will keep an eye on Martinelli across the tournament. It's also reported they've even sent scouts to watch the youngster in action. As you know, he's got five goals and two assists in the opening 14 games of the season. And his form has put him into the Brazilian squad, people. So it all depends. Now PSG just have to be linked with Bakayo Saka, who obviously got a brace for England um, in their last game. 
and they've completed the trio in it. So it all depends where you read. Palmeiras is Danilo, who is always linked with Arsenal, has been speaking. He says he is mature for Europe. Sorry, people, that's building work. And that the selection did really did well. I'm ready. That's in relation to his Brazilian cap. He has said, I give myself a year. I give myself a 10. Sorry, I'm reading up here. He believes he's had a great year despite fl fluctuations he's recognised during the season. He said, I give myself a 10. Palmeiras year was a 10 and so was mine it was a wonderful year i know that all the players have ups and downs as i had both ups and downs i didn't change my way of playing and training and managed to end the year with five very good games people he said i see myself mature enough to be able to play in any competition in the world i am ready because palmeiras helped me a lot from the base with the director Jao paulo and i kept my mentality my mentality strong with the right arrival of abel but I prefer not to get involved with these transfer issues. I told my manager to only talk to me if it's the right thing. Then we sit down and talk to Palmeiras and decide what's good, what's best for everyone. So, yeah, man, it makes sense. Again, he was called up in May for the Brazilian squad. He hasn't quite made the World Cup squad. He said the call up didn't hurt at all. Being there with the best in the world players I'm a fan of only helped me. I think the critics had to find a way to speak ill of my football and they ended up saying I didn't. I didn't let the fame go to my head. Again, Google Translate's not been kind here. It was very good. I made friends and learned a lot. I got closer to Martinelli, Gabriel Jesus and Danny Alves. I mean, I'm a massive Danny Alves fan, but Martinelli and Jesus, come and join the revolution. Get on the phone to Edu. Get this move sorted in January, people. He said, because we are going to do the same as we did this year, Palmeiras does not reduce the footprint because our desire is to win more titles and make hit history which is something that Abel, Abel always proposes to us so fair enough people so yeah he said but I'm going to start even earlier to get better whatever that means people ESPN have said Arsenal face competition from Ajax and Monaco for the Palmeiras star now we've been knowing this people we know Ajax and Monaco as well as Arsenal have been interested and apparently the Brazilian club is willing to accept 24 million euros people um, they had no interest in selling him in the summer so we're gonna have to try and do this in Jan sources have told ESPN that Palmeiras have since softened their stance which has led Arsenal to revive their interest as they search for a central midfielder to strengthen their squad. Palmeiras own 80% of the players' rights and sources suggest they are seeking 20 million for Danilo. His boyhood club own the other 20%, but there's confidence. There's said to be confidence the fee for their part could be negotiated, making the overall fee lower than 24 million euros. Arsenal are in contact with Palmeiras, but face competition from Ajax, who are believed to be ready to table a formal bid ahead of the January window. Monaco are among several other clubs to have contacted Palmeiras and have so far expressed the most interest of the chasing pack. Sources have told ESPN that Arsenal are keen on adding a central midfielder and a winger, if possible, in January, with the club's owners ready to back Mikel Arteta as they attempt to launch a bid for the Premier League title, allegedly, people. So it all depends where you read. I think we've seen this or we've seen this already with with Danilo. We've been linked with Reviella as well. Who him for goalie? Moretti, Juventus got a bunch of good ones. He's at Monza, which pub, unfortunately prior to Pablo Marie being subject to an unprovoked knife attack, we was playing that. So obviously, if we've been watching Monza for Pablo Marie, we have to have come across the young twenty year old who's you know. I like him. Good passing range, good engine, got sent off recently. But, you know, he's very much a development player, people. You'd have to negotiate with Juventus people. So I'm not too sure if this is to happen, really. Apparently, this article has said that the Turing club has asked for one of Gabriel Martinelli or William Saliba, both who are contracted until 2024. As I said, Raviella, you know, is getting to grips in 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 you know, the, the, the first division in Italy has play, played 14 times for Monza. Uh, ten, uh, Telemans has spoken on his future. He said, my future at the club doesn't change anything. I don't think about that right now. I just want to be the best footballer possible here and help the national team as much as possible, which is true. You know, it doesn't make sense focusing on your club career. You deal with what your country demands of you. Everything else takes care of itself. Chelsea and Arsenal have once again been linked with Pepe of Porto people. i got builders around, so you're hearing that noise. I'm not too sure if this is anything to be believed for the 25-year-old Brazilian people, I believe, who currently plays at Porto. He's got a 65 million release clause. So if you want him, it's not going to be cheap, even if you negotiate that lower. 
Um, apparently, Arsenal were rejected by um, pa uh, Paredes in their attempts to sign him in the summer, and he could be axed by Juventus people. Apparently, Arsenal were snubbed by Leandro Paredes over the summer, but the Argentine axe is already facing the axe by Juventus, and it looks like they don't want to permanently buy him from Paris Saint-Germain people. So we'll have to see how this one develops. He rejected Arsenal because he had an agreement to join Juventus and didn't want to go back on the deal, people. Considering Juventus have a buy option in his in his deal, they don't want it to happen. They're likely to send him back to PSG in 2023, whether that's in the in January or the summer. As I mentioned with Figoli and Moretti, they're doing what they can. So Paredes, his role is obsolete. Didn't have the best of games for Argentina in their defeat to Saudi Arabia. Fantastic comeback from the Saudis against uh, Lionel Messi's Argentina people. So we'll have to see what's going on here. Apparently, Locatelli's agent has confirmed he turned down Premier League offers, people. He said he's an important player for the club, which has always shown its appreciation. Manuel has improved a lot and his qualities have emerged. We know Manuel is in the club's plans and we are proud of it. We'll make our assessments at the right time with calm and seniority. He's perform he performs well in a two-man midfield, but he can be useful with three in the middle of the park. He's a lad who's always available and can adapt to the coach's request. As you know, he's been linked with Arsenal. It's true that there were some good opportunities from England last summer, but the player has a solid bond with Juventus and never thought about leaving. He's 24, contracted until 2027. Juventus are kind of turning their season around. So until they make it abundantly clear he has no future, and even then some, we won't be getting Locatelli. Um, Tossart's agent has revealed, Tossart's agents revealed why he rejected Arsenal. Cool story. Uh, scrolling all the way down, he said, um, Graham Potter came to Brussels, especially for Leandro, with an extensive PowerPoint presentation to convince him. He absolutely wanted him. There were no other options. In the same period, I had several conversations with Arsenal. They came to Belgium four times. I'll give you the note. Most players would have chosen Arsenal, but what would have happened if Leandro didn't get to play? Then there is only one way out, to take a step back. People don't realise what that does in someone's head. I know Leandro benched three times and he goes wild. So we turned it around. If he does well at Brighton, he doesn't have to back down. He can take a step up. Didn't we get it right? You did for the players' development. But if he goes to Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, all the clubs he's linked with, I'm not saying he can't be a starter, he can't help them, but he would be a squad player. So cool story, nonetheless. Uh, Jeremy Pino, again, someone linked with Arsenal, more so Chelsea now. Fabrizio Romano has been speaking. He said, I'm aware of some recent Tottenham and Chelsea transfer rumours. I can say it's normal that many clubs in England, including London clubs, are following Jeremy Pino. He's a top talent. He's represented by Stellar Group, which is super strong in the Premier League. At the moment, there are no advanced talks. We will see in 2023. I'm not sure he's going to leave in January unless a big proposal arrives, people. Um, Ryan Taylor has said there are scouts from Premier League clubs in attendance at the Educational City Stadium to watch Club Bruges forward Andreas Kolov Olsen in action for Denmark versus Tunisia, which is half time at this moment. Arsenal have also been monitoring the development of Jesper Limstrong of Frankfurt, who is currently on the bench for Denmark at this moment in time, people. So you have to draw whatever conclusions you want in that regard. Um, Julian Lorenz has been praising Edu people for what he is doing at the club and he's played a big, big part in the club's current project. Obviously, he's now the sporting director with the technical director. It's a reward in a way for the good job that he has done. I don't know if they have given him more money or more power, but I think he is very happy. He may have been the technical director and now he's the sporting director. That is super cool. Well done, Edu. This is well deserved. He's played a big, big, big part in what's making this project successful. Fair enough. Hopefully we can get some things done within January, people. Um, and finally, apparently Arsenal's hierarchy will be working hard to try and assess their priority position along the forward line. Address, sorry, man said assess. I'm kind of tired. Addressed um, along their fo forward line in January. Um, as you know, we're doing all right in the league, but we do need help. We know they, they Arsenal, wanted a winger. Rafina was the dream, but it was not possible to proceed. They had very positive contacts on Mudrick on the player side, but then they decided not to proceed with Shakhtar because they wanted more than 40, 45 million. I mean... I don't know if this is, this is says Darmish Jeff, but this is Fabrizio Romano. Um, now Shakhtar want more than 60 to 65 million, but Arsenal are still following the player. So we'll have to see people. 
They were looking at, says Darmashev said, they were looking at Rafina, remembering the summer. They didn't get him. He ended up going to Barca and they didn't end up getting anyone in those positions. So the Mudrick stuff, the Pedro Neto, it didn't work out. So I think there's still space in the squad for a player like that, Arsenal. I think Arteta and Edu will be working hard to try and do something in Jan. We've also been linked with Marcus Turam, who I've been speaking about quite a lot, people. So it doesn't appear there's anything different. I think we've covered everything, really, you know. Pepe as well, we've already spoken about of Porto, so yeah people that's all there is, please make sure to like comment, subscribe, offer your opinions and all of those things, check out my playlist people, check out the description and make sure you join me for my World Cup watch alongs man, we're hanging around like a bad smell as usual, appreciative of all the support you lot give me, as I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, most importantly stay safe, stay blessed and I'll see you lot soon people, one love <laughs> Because you always just have to defend that. Defend it. I've been given, like... Easy, easy, easy.